Superior Court of California, Alameda County Courthouse. Case number RG0733469. September 21, 2007. Petitioner Christine Sue Lucas. Judge the Honorable Frank Roche. Kristen Lucas. You are the last one on the calendar today, Miss Lucas. Because I really don't quite understand. This process requires a change to be taking place. And you're not asking for anything to change. You're asking for a disorder that to you stays the same. I have prepared a brief statement um, to read to the court, if I may. You may. Okay. Your Honor, I am here for a refresh, a renewal of self. I consider this act to be a poetic gesture and a birthday gift. I am ready for an update, an intervention into my life. I am here to be born again as myself, at the very least the most current version of myself. I am prepared to let go, to empty my cache, to refill the screen with the same information, to reboot knowing that the new Kristen Lucas may experience a tremendous sense of loss, detachment, or disappointment, or joy. Kristen Lucas is ready for change, and Kristen Lucas awaits her replacement. But it's not a change. I feel it is a change if it's entered into the system, and it's, it's like, um, like honoring your vows in marriage. It's, uh, it's, I'm considering it like a rebirth or a renewal, um, for me, it feels like a change would take place the moment between a name that exists and then rewriting the same name. If I write my name over and over on a page, my name is different every time I write it. Because it's, it's about time, it's about experiencing it as the moment. So I ask you to please honor my name change and give me this chance for intervention in my life. The law does not in which you have placed yourself into. It's a procedure to make a name change, not a spiritual change, not a change of a relationship to yourself, not a change of, uh, not a refresh as on a computer screen where you want to refresh a website. The law only provides this process for people that are changing their names. Mostly people change their names because of their self-identity or their religious beliefs or their... or there were changes in a relationship that they cannot accept. But the process isn't set up to avoid giving an opportunity to come together in a spiritual or emotional way. You're just... Everyday affirmation of self is also what I had in mind. The court's not in the business of humor. <laughs> the system of laws that we have isn't set up to either help or hinder a person from doing that. I'm there, there is a disconnect in my mind that a person's personal sense of identity and relationship towards the world and the way the law treats them. I'm. I have considerable amount of difficulty in uh, taking that word change and entering an order that doesn't include any change other than your perception of change. And that's not what's on the paper. All I'm doing is changing the paper. I have the feeling that the technology that we have available can make that change for us. It's like replacing information. The computer, the technology, the system as a way of erasing you 
And, and I feel that um, this is a change I've seen in my lifetime. And I, I just, I'm really interested in just reestablishing. Um, I, I feel I'd laid that out for you, but it's difficult to describe. I don't feel that this intervention into my life or into the system is in any way a danger to the system or, or to myself, and no one has appeared here to object this change. And I also respect your... But it's not a change. I should have brought a philosopher. I feel, I feel it, it is a change. Moment to moment in my life, I experience many changes, and I am looking for the approval of the court <coughs> to just kind of sanction that change for me. How many more times are you going to come to the court and change your name because you're changing every 15 minutes, or? Well, I've been thinking about this change for a year, and it brought me here today, and I would like to experience what the differences might be. I can't make that decision about how many times I might need a refresh, but I want to respect the court's time as well. Well. And I'm not here to abuse the system. I, I, I don't think that you are. Okay, thank you. And I don't mind the time. I just don't know that I have the legal authority to change your name when it's not a change. The code sections talk about changing. Can I give you an order that doesn't change your name at all? That keeps your name the same? Is that the same as granting a name change? And I think not. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to continue this matter for two weeks and try to think about these issues in this time. Thank you. I'll try to puzzle out in my mind whether I ought to do it. Clearly, the law gives me the discretion given here to make a name change or not. But I do need to know in my own mind that the law permits me to do it. I know that the law permits me to say no, but does the law permit me to say yes is the second question. And I'll go do some legal research. Quite frankly, it is the first time that anybody has come here and tried to do this. Thank you. I appreciate your time. Thank you. So it's going to be on October 5th. I'll see you back on that day. Thank you. And you don't have to sit down because you're not going to be taking any papers with you today. Superior Court of California, Alameda County Courthouse, case number RG07. 336497, October 5th, 2007. Petitioner, Christine Siu Lucas. Judge, the Honorable Frank Rush. Christine Siu Lucas. Well, I must say that I spent probably way too much time thinking about this situation. I think it's a nutty idea. It's not really a name change, but I'm going to do it. Thank you, Your Honor. So you have changed your name to exactly what it was before, in the spirit of refreshing yourself as though you were a web page. Thank you, Your Honor. Stay here and we'll have some paperwork for you. <coughs> 